Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be doing my Lolita wardrobe post for January 2016. Um, I have kind of a lot to get through and I wanted to do this in a video format because I don't have a good camera to take pictures of all of it. So I'm just going to like jump right into it because I have a lot to go through. Um, so first I'll say start off by saying this isn't um, necessarily all the things that I use for Lolita. I use lots of my muggle wardrobe, like my sweaters and stuff for Lolita as well. So I mean like if you wanted, oh I forgot, oh I always forget things. If you want to see um, my muggle wardrobe, perhaps I can do that someday because I have a lot of stuff. Um, but anyway, I'll just jump right in. I'm going to start with blouses I think. Um, so I get them from a lot of different places. This is the first one. And I've had this one for years. It looks like this. And I got this one at a thrift store. So my next one is this one. And this one's for more casual coordinates. But it has the um, really pretty fabric up here. And uh, I also got this at a thrift store. I, of course, put things over it to make it look a little fancier. I got this one at a thrift store as well for my mom. It feels sort of like chiffon, but I'm not sure if that's the fabric. And then it has this really pretty detailing on the front and on the sleeves. And this one I got from Kohl's. It's the Princess Vera Wang. I actually bought it from my mom for Christmas. Um, and it's slightly sparkly. If you own Dream Marine, this is the same um, way the fabric is. And this is a chiffon blouse with a Peter Pan collar and cute little sleeves. Um, this is another blouse that I use sometimes. It's all polka dot. I got it from Ross, and it also has a Peter Pan collar, but it's pretty straightforward. It's chiffon and a little bit see-through, too. I used this blouse in one of my Outfit of the Day videos forever ago. I'm not sure where my mom got this blouse for me. I'm guessing Kohl's because it says Lauren Conrad on it, but this is this blouse. It's really cute because it has, um, let me put my hand in it. It has little bow details, and then the collar is really small, but it's it's got that Peter Pan style to it. This is also a sheer chiffon, so I, of course, would wear something under all of the chiffon blouses I have. Um, this is a Forever 21 blouse. I bought it. It came with one of my skirts that my friends gave to me. Um, it has the cream polka dots down here. It has a little tie, but I couldn't find it. And then it has some detail here, big billowy sleeves, and then they come fitted at the wrists. Um, this is another new blouse that I got for Christmas this year. Um, it's plain white. It has this beautiful detail on the front. It doesn't have a collar, but I kind of like that about this one. Um, my mom also got it for me from Kohl's. It says Lauren Conrad on it, and it has... The Louis sleeves pretty much like the first one. I'm really excited to use this one. Next is a bodyline blouse I got for my birthday a long time ago from my best friend, Kim, Casey Cookies on YouTube. And um, it has this really cute um, collar that's Peter Pan style. The sleeves are removable. Um, it has black details. I love the sleeves. They're really, really cute. And then it has the black buttons. Um, this one needs to be ironed because it's, of course, really old. I haven't worn it for a while. This is another blouse. It's navy blue. I don't know if you can tell. And it's a little bit of a crop top, so I wear this under either high-waisted skirts or under JSKs. And the sleeves are slightly see-through and chiffon. They have little flower print on them. And the front looks like this. Um, and it's a free-size one that I got up in the mountains in Estes Park in Colorado. This is another Bodyline Cut Cell. I love this one. I got it for $10. I believe they're still available if you want one. Because they're really nice quality. They're really thick um, cotton. So I really like them. And then I have that same... I dropped it. I have that same one in pink. And I just got this one as well to match with some of my pink dresses. Or dresses that have pink in them. Because I don't have any pink dresses. And then I think this is my final Lolita specific blouse. And um, this one's a little bit difficult to see, but it's an Infanta blouse and it has this, um, it has a sweetheart. Let's see if I get it. Yeah. 
So it has all this lace around the sleeves. It has a sweetheart collar. My pale body. <laughs> Messing up the, the white balance. But there's that. And then it ties in the back. So there are all my blouses. Now I'm going to show you one cardigan that I bought from Bodyline recently. Um, which is this. So I altered this one slightly. It had two rows of lace going down on either side and I just thought that looked terrible so I took it off. I was also thinking of seeing if I could somehow lighten this a little so it's not as straight up red because it's really intense red. This also has removable sleeves and I just got this. It's $15 on body line if you want to get it because that's still available. Okay, so then I'll show you my shoes real quick. So I got these shoes at a swap meet. They're really pretty boots. I'm not sure where she got them, but they're super cute. All my shoes are kind of scuffed up because I only have four pairs. Here are a pair of Victorian looking booties. Let's see if I can get the white balance here. Come on. There we go. And they're like suede. They have a shiny toe and they have buttons and their heels. Um, I got these for $5 at a thrift store. Um, here are some shoes my one of my friends got me from Milanu. I don't suggest buying there, but these turned out okay. Although they came two sizes too big, so that's not fun. But they're like this. They're really old and really scuffed up. Um, yeah, there's nothing that special there. And then here are some body line shoes that one of my friends recently gave me. They're used, so they look not perfect or anything. So there they are. And those are just pink and white. Okay, so then I'll show you my socks. I don't have that many pairs of Lolita socks because I pretty much usually just wear muggle tights. But um, my friend also gave me a pair of angelic pretty socks. They're pink and white. Then I have these lavender socks to match my candy sprinkle JSK. They have stars and a little unicorn on them. Then I got these shot socks from Bodyline. They're just the Harlequin, I think this is what this is called, Harlequin pattern. Um, the other two are over the knee socks and these go to your knee. Then I got these Putamayo socks and they have a like um, this design, I don't even know what to call this, perhaps striped, and then they have little letters and dots on the back. And those I think are over the knee or knee socks. Then I have the Candy Border Angelic Pretty Socks in black and pink. And these are over the knee socks as well. And then finally in my sock collection I have my Lolita specific sock collection that is. I have these body line um, knee socks and they have this really cute detail on the top. I don't know if you can see. Come on white balance. There you go. So that's that. I'll show you a couple of my accessories. So these are some wrist cuffs I made myself. And these bows actually came off of the uh, Milano shoes. They fell off and I just put them here. Oh, I don't know what fell. Then I'll show you my other wrist cuffs that my friend also gave me. I believe they're angelic pretty. And they're just plain pink and they have little charms. They're super cute. Um, I'll show you now my earmuffs because I have two Lolita specific earmuffs. So I have these alpaca ones and I wear these with Lolita. Not that they match anything I own but there's a little pearl band. And then these Hello Kitty ones that are just pink and white. They're super cute. Okay, so then I'm going to show you some of my bows. Oh, let me gather all of them. So lots of these came with dresses and skirts that I already have, especially the body line one. So this came with um, my Baroque skirt, which I'll show you in a moment. This one also came with a body line skirt. This one came with a body line JSK. It's just plain black. And um, all of those have clips on them. This is a headband that came with my Candy Sprinkle JSK. This one came with another body line skirt. 
This one came with an Atelier Pierrot blouse. It's to go right there. This one came with a Bodyline JSK. This one came with a Bodyline JSK, and this one doesn't have a clip on it, so not entirely sure what to do with that. And then this is a Metamorphose, Metamorphose um, bow. It's really old. This is one of my first Lolita pieces ever. So there are those things. Um, now I can get to show you my Lolita dresses. I think I forgot a blouse here. Well, maybe it's in here. Okay, whatever. I'll just keep going. So here is my first dress. It's an Infanta dress. It's A-line. It has a pretty damask print on it, and I love the bottom ruffle, and it also has the same sort of top part going on as my Infanta blouse. So there is that. It is right here. This is my next one. This is one of my favorite dresses. It is a body line. I think it's called the Choco Strawberry Love Dress, and um, it's so cute. I love it so much. I Most of my pink and red accessories I got for this dress. However, I bought it altered, so um, it doesn't have a zipper anymore, but I kind of like that. This girl literally sold it to me off of her, her body. It was crazy. Um, next is my Candy Sprinkle JSK. It's an angelic pretty print. It's lavender. My favorite part of this print is that it has swans. I would have preferred the black colorway, but I do like the lavender one, mostly just because I love the print. This is my body line, plain black JSK. It's made out of really heavy fabric, so I really enjoy that. Let's see, come on, white balance. It's got some detailing on the front. The front and back look almost exactly the same, but it's really cute, and I really like it. Um, I've thought about getting the white and black one for old school coordinates. Next is a lavender body line JSK. I'm not sure which one this was because I bought it used. Well, me and this girl traded for one of my old skirts, but here it is. The only thing I don't like, I don't like sharing on the front, but you know, it's pretty cute standard piece. I traded it for a dress or a skirt I really wanted to get rid of, so that was a good, good deal. Um, next is my Dream Marine JSK, and I love this JSK so much. I recently just washed it, so you can wash this in the washer, even though it says not to on the tag. It got really, it got some stuff spilled on it, so it looks like this, and it has, like my other chiffon blouse, it's slightly sparkly. You cannot tell in pictures, but if you are thinking of getting this JSK and you really want to, but you're hesitant, I suggest you do because it's like gorgeous in person. It looks so much better in person. The camera can't pick up how cute it is. Okay, and then lastly of my dresses, I recently bought this. This is Angelic Pretty's Pastel Ella Mode, and it's all wrinkled because it literally just came out of the box like two days ago. So here's the print on the bottom. It has cakes. It has a scalloped bottom with this super cute lace. I love it and the front is so cute too. This is probably my favorite dress at the moment. And then I'll show you my skirts. And then there's a blouse that I'm missing. Let me see if I have it right here real quick. I literally have no idea where this blouse went. Oh here we are. This is the blouse that I was missing. This is my Atelier Pierrot blouse that I was talking about earlier. It has giant bell sleeves. I think I showed this in a different video of mine. If you can't see it very well in this video. But I think you can. And yeah, this one's super cute. I love it. Let's put it back here. Okay, so now for my skirts. So this is a body line one I got. The lace down here needs ironing, but otherwise I think it's really cute. And um, the thing you can't tell about body line pieces online is... A lot but mostly this one is corduroy fabric which I thought was super interesting but yeah that's what it looks like I was pleased with it I believe it was $12 at the time I got it so you can't really beat that so this is my Baroque skirt it's the long version it's called pearl drops on the dry flower I believe um, and this one came with the bow previously and then this one also with a big bonnet 
And so this is what the outside of the bonnet looks like and the inside of it is really pretty. And this is probably one of my favorite pieces because it's so gorgeous and so beautiful. And I feel like I could go really um, classic with that or gothic with it as well. This is one of my old ones. I think um, this is my oldest skirt out of everything I own because um, my other two I sold. So this is my first body line skirt and I love it still. I really want the JSK version of this because it's so cute. I think it's called the biscuit skirt or biscuit dress and I have it in sacks and it's so cute and this thing has survived so many years. <laughs> um, it also had a bow that came with it that I showed earlier. Um, this is another body line skirt that I paid next to nothing for. Again, this is one of those pieces that looks terrible on the website but looks way better in person. However, I did remove it. It had lace going around the waistband on the bottom and the top. I don't know if you can see where it used to be right here and here. But I removed that lace because it looked really bad. But otherwise, I think it's a pretty cute skirt. I think this one was also $12, so you can't really beat that. I think this one's actually dirty, too. I think I should probably wash this one. And that's something I like about body line is you can just wash the clothes. It's not that big of a deal. You don't need to be as careful. And then finally, this is my last skirt. It's an Infanta skirt. I can't remember what it's called, but it has this really pretty clock pattern on it. And it's silver. And the buttons sometimes look gold and sometimes look silver. That's my only complaint with it. But they are, in fact, silver. In person, it's a lot harder to tell. And then the bottom has this navy blue corduroy fabric almost that's um, got stripes on it. And this dress also came with like a portion to make it into a vest. Let's see if I can put this on and maybe be able to tell better. But it also has the um, blue, see it goes like this, whereas the other blue thing on it. And these parts button into, you can't tell like at all what's going on here. Yeah, there we go. And you'll button it, um, you button the pieces down. I actually think I'm wearing this backwards. I totally am, but... You get the idea of what it's supposed to look like, and I think that's all that matters, really. So, I think that's everything for my Lolita wardrobe. This video is way shorter than I thought it would be, so I'm really proud. If you want to see um, my Lolita jewelry or other accessories, because I didn't include them, um, let me know, and if you want to see my crazy, huge um, wardrobe and closet, just let me know as well. Thank you for watching. Bye!